Hello, one and all, this is Bono Matakos. Welcome back to Let's Play. I was gonna say, Let's Play something. That's not true. Let's Play Blood Fresh Supply. When we last left off, we were still here in this level, which is called the House of Horrors. And we're getting pretty hurt by the cultists. Did I use the whole doctor's bag? Yes, I think I did. So I shouldn't have to worry about wasting anything there. Well, we made the right choice going down this side of the hall with our guns akimbo while we still had it. Because that other side is pretty much a blank wall. I need to pause here for a sec. Sorry. I apologize in advance if I sound completely dead for this video. That is because I am basically completely dead. I am dead tired. But I need to do something for the channel. Ugh. Why was I expecting anything less? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Needed to record something for the channel, and I don't currently have a Let's Play something lined up. Um, I plan on doing another Morrowind video at some point, because the Morrowind video that I put up was um, so lackluster in quality. It wasn't very bright for everyone to see, and... Uh, I mean, that's basically it. You can't see the video, you can't enjoy the video. Those things are intertwined with one another. So, I was upset about that, but... So, uh, I'll be doing another one of those, but not right now, because at the moment, there are so many of them. I'm gonna die again. This weapon is not great for long, long range combat. Apparently, I managed to not die. We'll roll with that. More Tommy gun ammo. Which we will immediately switch to. Color me not trusting. Alright, I dare say we need to make a save. First save of the video. But yeah, didn't have a let's play something, so I knew we to do a third video of the game this week, and I chose blood. It's the one that'll go by the fastest with me having to uh, stop and do all the saves. Plus, it hasn't had a third video of it featured since we started the Let's Play. That one wasn't too bad. Didn't feel too bad. Every time I hear that noise, I think something's behind me. This area just reeks of monster closet. Well, even more zombies. And a heart. A wall that can be blown up. And we will probably blow it up. And a bunch of different headstones. Some flares. I think this one does something. No, it does not. Just there for a joke. Nothing in the water. No one there to greet me. I have flares. Let's use our flare gun on these. I believe flare guns will trigger these. Yes, they will. <laughs> This takes you back to the beginning of the ride, where I think that doctor's bag is still present. It is. We'll leave it there. There's no reason to, to waste half a doctor's bag, but it does provide us with more than enough reason to use the one that we've been given. That's who I was waiting for.
kill you and you are you gonna get back up yes you are well, not that time you won't and that's not a secret Tommy got a flare ammo there I dare not peek down there until I have to Oh, nope, that did the job. Entrance of the level. I knew there would be something up to do with that higher up area. Secret, I believe. Oh, nope. It really looks like one. The, the shade of the, the shadow of the box there. Up here, this area is bad news. I remember dying a lot in this part that's coming up. Let's make a save because we're doing pretty well. Hopefully this one won't feel like it takes too long either. Okay, this one feels like it's taking pretty long now. There we are. We actually want that guy to get closer to the wall. We want as many of these guys as possible to get closer to the wall. Because that'll make this easy. We want him to get close. We want to not blow ourselves up. There we are. That should have cleared most of the crowd. And since we're not really coming back here... Let's go grab that doctor's bag now. We'll press this to use it. 19% is worth wasting. Excellent. That area should be relatively good to go now. This way. Let's see if I can kill some of those mice. They're all inside there. Got him. And our reward is a napalm launcher, which gives us another five shots. Well worth it. Well worth switching to as well. Let's see if we can pull off a couple of good throws here. Da -da -da, that's all, folks. Well, there's at least one. Another nicely tossed, if I do say so myself. Oh, hello, you. You're going to get back up. Really? Apparently he's not. That was all he wanted to take. Let's not shoot those barrels and use our shotgun here. These guys are pretty close. He dead. Well, who knows how much damage he did to me after I picked up the light pheasants. Nothing there but a uh, ominous stairwell. All right. Those don't lead it to anything. We can get up here easily enough. Notice how that wall is different. Probably not implying anything. We'll check though. No, nothing's opening or anything like that.
Ah! The exit. Does that look familiar to some of you? It should. It's the exit that we would have normally taken in the last level. Let's go further down the path here. Back to here. The game looped us back around to the exit it wanted us to take in the first place instead of the secret elbow. Well, nothing to do but go kill this gargoyle. How you doing, buddy? Oh, we are grown in that time, so we need to get moving because he's going to start throwing projectiles at us. Come down and play, chief. Is he dead or did I just knock his... He's alive somewhere. He should be alive. I didn't, didn't see his corpse. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, he dead. Just making sure I don't want him to turn around and blitz me, you know? Maybe now there's a secret crack in the wall. One from this version of the map. Because I remember one from the past. Or remember, I just must remember intensely searching for one that wasn't there. Yeah, it's just my memory. Alright, let's flip the switch and see how many secrets I missed. All of them. <laughs> Spooky. Well, I didn't do very well on that level at all. But I was looking too, man. All right, welcome to the next level, kids. We have traded out the music for just spooky chanting. This is one of the levels I believe you can watch in the demo of the game, back when those were a thing, and I wish they still were. To me, it was one of the funnest things to do in these old school first person shooters like Blood, Duke, Chasm, all those kinds of games. You would just launch the game and instead of playing the game, you would wait a few minutes and you would get this awesome demo that you got to watch. It was really cool. Usually they weren't very good at it, but they weren't kind of meant to be, you know? Like, it was just meant to show off the game to you. Ow. Ow! Fine, I'll use the bag. So, about the statues. Sometimes these things can be gargoyles. I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was coming. Some things, sometimes those can be actual gargoyles. Um, if those are, in fact, actual gargoyles, there's nothing you can do to them in their stone form. You can poke them, you can prod them, you can pull them, you can twist them, you can bop them. Nothing will change them from that stone form until they decide to change from that stone form. Their decision being at a game's preordained point. Uh, once they decide to turn to a regular gargoyle, they will do so, and you will have to fight them. I have never been up here, I don't think. Let's find out. Ah, yeah, visible wall. They do not want you going that way. No, I don't think I've ever looked up there. Is there, like, a message? Secret message anywhere? No. Oh. Sometimes you can get the secret messages in these old 3D build games. Like the one in Duke that I remember showing off. Ah! Do you see how much these guys can hurt you? Yeah, we're not we're not doing this with a pitchfork. <laughs> the the good news is we get a hundred health out of the deal, but I mean Is the trade off worth it? No, not really. You missed. Valiant effort. 
Die. <laughs> oh, I think I got one of them. <laughs> Worth it. There's a gargoyle right there. The zombies are all coming. I'm okay with that. Oh, you survived. Takes a lot to survive both barrels. This guy is going to be a bit of a problem. Come on down, chief. I don't think he's going to. He's going to wait on us. He's clever that way. The problem is he has a lot of fly space in this room. And he's down. And we're alive. And we haven't popped our med kit. So that's worthy enough of a quick save. I hope by now, if I haven't made it a point to you in the nine videos I think we've done of this Let's Play at this point, if you haven't already understood me when I've talked about how deadly those cultists are, I hope you understand now. Everything in blood can kill you. <laughs> it's not a game where there's an enemy type where you just go, Oh, it's just an imp. Or you go, Oh, it's just one of those guy, those aliens from Duke Nukem 3D with the little pistol shooters. Everything in this game will rip you apart if you don't deal with it properly everything there are I mean there's definitely a hierarchy in uh, enemy deadliness there are certain enemies that are of course uh, less of a problem than other types I mean that that only makes sense I'm going to die yep dead that's okay I thought I could have handled that better anyways. But, you know, I mean, of course there are enemies that are, on the hierarchy, easier to deal with than others. Dealt with you, nice and proper. I need a key. Requires what key? I can't see the sign. There should be a symbol somewhere that tells you which key that you need, but it's not going to tell me. I could get up there with jump boots. I think there's another way to access these upper areas, though. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and pop the med kit. We're going to need the health. Let's not lie to ourselves and pretend we don't. What we don't need anymore is flare ammo. We are officially content on flare ammo. If I recall, there are definitely bad hombres up there. I don't think he died. No, he did not. <laughs> Definitely dealing with some of those guys. Some of them, at the very least. Let's back up and go back into this central room. I feel more comfortable saving in here. And with that save, we're actually going to call it a video. Because we're going to be over 20 minutes by the time it's actually done saving. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Sorry I probably wasn't very perky or excited in this video. As I said, I'm quite tired. But, the difficulty of running a channel where you have to make a video for every single day is sometimes you have to record when you're tired. So, thank you for watching, even through that. Thanks for listening. And I will see you guys later. This is one of Otakos 
Siding off as soon as the game will allow me to. Eventually. And we killed ourselves with TNT before. Wanna see how bad the napalm launcher hurts? Fatally. <laughs> 